Class 8, Science, Chapter 5, Coal Animated Science Introduction Hi there, what's up friends? I am a dinosaur. My name is Tex Rex. I was present on Earth some millions of years ago. And all the fossil fuels like coal, petroleum and natural gas are made from me and my friends back then. That is, dead remains of plants, trees, sea creatures and other land creatures like me. Such dead remains are called fossils. I will tell you today about the various precious resources on earth. The natural resources around us are of two types, that is, exhaustible and inexhaustible. The fossil fuels are exhaustible natural resources on this earth. They are present on this earth in limited quantities. Did you know that coal, petroleum and gas are all fossil fuels? They are made from dead creatures, dead trees, plants and tiny sea creatures which were buried millions of years ago. They were squashed and heated so much that they changed into the fossil fuels we find today. They are used to heat our homes, provide power for industry and fuel our cars, produce steam which drives generators to make electricity, coal, Petroleum, natural gas is being depleted very fast by human activities like rapid urbanization, industrialization and transportation. Coal, petroleum and natural gas cannot be prepared in the laboratory from dead organisms. Their formation is a very, very slow process and conditions for their formation cannot be created in the laboratory. Let's learn about the story of the fossil fuels in detail. First, I will tell you about the types of resources on Earth. Natural resources. The resources obtained from nature are called natural resources. These include air, sunlight, water, soil and minerals. Man-made resources. The resources made by man are called man-made resources. Types of natural resources. Natural resources can be broadly classified into two kinds. Inexhaustible natural resources. These resources are present in unlimited quantity in nature and are not likely to be exhausted by human activities. Examples are sunlight, air, etc. Exhaustible natural resources. The amount of these resources in nature is limited. They can be exhausted by human activities. Examples are forests, wildlife, minerals, coal, petroleum, natural gas, etc. First, I will tell you about coal, an exhaustible natural resource and a fossil fuel on earth. Coal. Coal is a complex mixture of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. When coal is heated in air, it burns and produces mainly carbon dioxide gas. Coal is a natural fuel. It is hard as stone and is black in color. It is one of the fuels used to cook food. Earlier, it was used in railway engines to produce steam to run and also used in thermal power plants to produce electricity. Coal is also used as a fuel in various industries. Do you know what products are obtained when coal is processed in the industry? Coal is processed in industry to get some useful products such as coke, coal tar and coal gas. Coke It is a tough, porous and black substance. It is a pure form of carbon. Some uses of coke are It is used in the extraction of many metals. It is used in the manufacture of steel. Coal tar. It is a black, thick liquid with unpleasant smell. It is a mixture of about 200 substances. Uses of coal tar are It is used for the manufacture of synthetic dyes, drugs, explosives, perfumes, plastics, paints, photographic materials, roofing materials, etc. The naphthalene balls used to repel moths and other insects are also obtained from coal tar.
coal gas. Coal gas is obtained during the processing of coal to get coke. Coal gas was used for street lighting for the first time in London in 1810 and in New York around 1820. Nowadays it is used as a source of heat rather than light. It is used as a fuel in many industries situated near the coal processing plants. Do you know what is a coal mine? A mine where coal is dug from the ground is called a coal mine. Where are the coal mines situated in our country? Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh and Maharashtra are major coal field areas in India. Let's find out how coal is formed. Formation of coal. Coal was formed by decomposition of plants and trees buried under the surface of the earth long, long ago. About 300 million years ago, the earth had dense forests in low-lying swampy wetland areas. Due to earthquakes, floods and volcanic activities, these forests got buried under the surface of the earth and were covered with sand, clay, earth, and water. With the passage of time, as more soil deposited over them, they were compressed. The combination of heat, high pressure, and bacterial action, dead plants got slowly converted to coal. They were slowly fossilized into coal. As coal contains mainly carbon, the slow process of conversion of dead vegetation into coal is called carbonization. Hey! Now let's find out about another fossil fuel, that is, natural gas. Natural gas is stored under high pressure as compressed natural gas, or CNG. CNG is used for power generation. Natural gas is very important fossil fuel because it is easy to transport through pipes. It is a cleaner fuel. India has vast reserves of natural gas. Uses of natural gas. It is used for power generation. It can be supplied through pipes and used directly for burning in homes and factories. It is used as a starting material for the manufacture of a number of chemicals and fertilizers. Example, hydrogen gas obtained from natural gas is used in the production of fertilizers or urea. Do you know? Where is natural gas found in India? In India, natural gas has been found in Tripura, Rajasthan, Maharashtra and in the Krishna Godavari Delta. Now I will tell you about another fossil fuel on earth, that is petroleum. Petroleum. Petrol and diesel are obtained from a natural resource called petroleum. Petroleum is a dark colored, vicious, strong smelling fossil fuel. The name petroleum is derived from petra meaning rocks and oleum meaning oil. This means that petroleum occurs under the earth's crust entrapped in the rocks. It is a mixture of various constituents such as petroleum gas, petrol, diesel, lubricating oil, paraffin wax, etc. Uses of petroleum are it is used in light automobiles such as motorcycles, scooters and cars. Heavy motor vehicles like trucks and tractors run on diesel. Let's find out how petroleum and natural gas are formed. Petroleum and natural gas take millions of years to form. They are formed from the remains of tiny sea plants and animals that have died millions of years ago. When the plants and the animals die, they sink to the bottom of the ocean and get covered with layers of sand and clay. Over millions of years, absence of air, high temperature and high pressure transforms the dead organisms into petroleum and natural gas. The figure shows the deposits of petroleum and natural gas. You see that the layer containing petroleum oil and gas is above that of water because 
oil and gas are lighter than water and do not mix with it. Children, have you heard about the petroleum refineries in our country? Let's find out more about petroleum refining. Refining of petroleum. Petroleum is a mixture of various constituents such as petroleum gas, petrol, diesel, lubricating oil, paraffin wax, etc. The process of separating petroleum into more useful constituents or fractions by fractional distillation is known as refining. It is carried out in a petroleum refinery. The crude petroleum oil is heated to a temperature of about 400 degrees Celsius in a furnace and the vapors thus formed are passed into a tall fractioning column through pipelines near its bottom. The vapors of high boiling fractions of petroleum condense first and the vapors of low boiling fractions rise up into the tower and condense later. Fractional distillation is continued until the crude oil is separated into five or six fractions. Do you know, a typical refinery might process 10 million tons of crude oil per year. Some petroleum refineries in our country are Chennai, Kochi, Mumbai, Baroni, etc. Hey, do you know what petrochemicals are and why they are so useful to us? Let's find out. Petrochemicals. The chemicals which are prepared from the fractions of petroleum are called petrochemicals. Some important petrochemicals are methyl alcohol, ethyl alcohol, ethylene, benzene, toline, acetone, DDT and BHC. Uses of petrochemicals. They are used in the manufacture of detergents, fibers like polyester, nylon, acrylic, etc. Polythene and other man-made plastics. They are used in the production of fertilizers or urea. Example, hydrogen gas obtained from natural gas is used to produce fertilizers. Various constituents of petroleum and their uses are petroleum gas in liquid form or LPG, use fuel for home and industry. It is less polluting and easy to transport and use. Petrol, use motor fuel, Aviation fuel, solvent for dry cleaning, kerosene. Use fuel for stoves, lamps and for jet aircrafts. Diesel. Use fuel for heavy motor vehicles, electric generators, lubricating oil. Use lubrication, paraffin wax. Use ointments, candles, Vaseline, etc. Bitumen. Use paints, road surfacing. Do you know, these days bitumen, a petroleum product, is used in place of coal tar for metalling the roads. Do you know why coal, petroleum and natural gas are called fossil fuels? Exhaustible natural resources like coal, petroleum, natural gas were formed from the dead remains of living organisms, that is, fossils. So, these are all known as fossil fuels. We have limited reserves of fossil fuels in nature. Let's find out how to save petrol and diesel. Some natural resources are exhaustible like fossil fuels, forests, minerals, etc. You know that coal, petroleum and natural gas are fossil fuels. It required the dead organisms millions of years to get converted into these fuels. On the other hand, the known reserves of these will last almost a few hundred years. Moreover, burning of these fuels is a major cause of air pollution. Their use is also linked to global warming. It is therefore necessary that we use these fuels only when absolutely necessary. This will result in better environment smaller risk of global warming and their availability for a longer period of time. In India, the Petroleum Conservation Research Association or PCRA advises people how to save petrol and diesel while driving. Their tips are, we must drive at a constant speed. We must switch off the engine at traffic lights 
or at a place where we have to wait for some time. Correct tire pressure must be maintained. Regular maintenance of the vehicles should be ensured. So, children, we have to take care and be wise in using our fossil fuels. Otherwise, they will soon be finished off and then there will be no energy to power our homes, schools, industries, etc.